The International Criminal Court has found former Congolese militia leader Jermaine Katanga guilty of aiding and abating murder and the attack on civilians. The court has, however, acquitted him of the charges of sexual slavery and rape. Katanga was charged with 10 counts of war crimes and crimes against humanity for an attack on a village called Bogoro by a militia group he allegedly commanded, the Patriotic Resistance Force. He now remains in custody waiting sentencing. He was charged alongside Matthew Grujolo Chui, another militia leader who was acquitted for lack of evidence last year. Now, for more analysis on today's ICC ruling on Jermaine Katanga, we now joined live in studio by Thierry Viacolon, the project director with the International Crisis Group responsible for Central Africa region. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. So what do you make of this ruling? Well, this is uh, very good news. I understand that Jermaine Katanga has been found guilty. Uh, he was indeed the leader of the uh, FRPI, uh, who was a militia who committed a lot of uh, atrocities uh, in Ituri at the beginning of, uh, of the century. So uh, this is definitely a good news for justice. And what impact do you think this ruling is likely to have on the conflict there in DRC? Well, I mean, um, we haven't seen any uh, deterrent effect of the ruling of the ICC. Uh, as you know, there was already one militia leader of Ituri who has been convicted by the ICC, uh, and uh, that had no impact, immediate impact in uh, Ituri and in Eastern Congo. Uh, however, uh, we hope that uh, little by little the leaders of armed groups in Eastern Congo are going to understand that international justice is for real, uh, is effective. Uh, this is very important given the ineffectiveness of the national justice system in, uh, in Congo. There has been very few uh, militia leaders who have been arrested by the national justice system there and who have been uh, convicted. And one of them that I know uh, was uh, a militia leader in Katanga uh, was arrested, spent a little of time in jail and then escaped and is now uh, away uh, for two years. So uh, international justice is very important in uh, Congo. Right, but uh, it is important for DRC, but do you think so far it has had any impact at all, uh, given that Katanga is in the first uh, ex-militia boss to appear there. We've had Bosco Quintaganda who's on trial. We've had Thomas Lubanga. Has that had any impact at all? Well, I think uh, it has, uh, it has a, a symbolic impact. But what is very important uh, is that the people who uh, were behind those militia leaders in Ituri are also arrested. I mean, the people who uh, founded those militias, the people, the intellectuals uh, who uh, supported those militias in Ituri uh, should also be uh, uh, prosecuted and, uh, and sentenced. Uh, I think very often behind the leaders of those armed groups, you have uh, uh, sometimes business people and officials in power also. So the, the main issue is to know if uh, the court, uh, the ICC, uh, is able to connect the dots. And uh, if so, if the court is able actually to also prosecute and sentence uh, those people. Um, Katanka's ruling comes at a time when the ICC is facing criticism, especially from the African continent. Mm -hmm. Do you think this ruling will have any impact at all on the credibility of the court? Well, I think it's, uh, it's definitely, as I said, a, a good news and it's demonstrating that the court is able to uh, sentence uh, uh, commanders of those armed groups who have committed a lot of atrocities, and uh, uh, especially in Bogoro. Uh, but the problem is, is not only about uh, the commanders of those armed groups. As I said, it's about the people who are behind them. Uh, and, um, and therefore, the, the, the main issue at the moment it's to know if the ICC is able to connect the dots and is able also to, uh, to uh, uh, prosecute those people. Um, the main issue is to know if international justice is only for uh, rebels mm -hmm. or if it's also for rebels and presidents. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Thierry Viacolon. Thanks very much for your time.